But I'm not gonna lie. I mean, Chris Evans taking her shirt off oh, and that was a back good one. to a pool. I could I could talk about that every day. You know, like he that could just a post a different shirtless photo and I will talk about it every day. Yeah. Please, Chris, yeah. if you're listening to me. <laughs> Welcome to Holly Scoop's Moments of the Week. I am Gabrielle Valenson. Hi guys, I am Monsi Bellano. So excited to be here with you, Gabby. So happy to have you back, Monsi. We are going to count down the top five Holly Scoop videos of the week, and we're reading some of the viewers' comments. So these are the stories that had everyone talking this week, Monsi. So let's get started with the video coming in at number five. Demi is thriving post breakup, but Max is posting crying selfies. So last Saturday, Demi took a trip to Calabasas' Night of the Jacks Halloween drive through with her best friend, Matthew Scott Montgomery. Um, Demi posted a bunch of Instagram stories at the drive through and seemed, you know, very giggly and happy, seemed to be in a good place. Uh, she hasn't Super spoken cute. about the break. Yeah, I mean, good for her. But, I mean, she hasn't spoken about the breakup with Max since last weekend, you know, since everything happened. And Max has done the opposite. Um, on Sunday, he posted a teary eyed selfie and he put a broken heart emoji for the caption. So Demi is definitely moving quickly away from this drama. But Monsi, let's see what our tea tribe had to say about this mess, because it's a mess. This was a mess. <laughs> like, Matt, I don't need, I am so over max but tell me what the people said here we go grace jones said one thing i will say is that i love all the love demi is receiving from everyone i know demi looks happy but we really don't know what she's going through so i like that she is surrounded with people who love her and that's really true because at the end of the day we i mean you don't know she seems happy and that's great but as we all know social media can be very fake you put out what you want to put out a hundred percent that is something really smart to be pointing out and to look at that it's like hey guys she is telling us that she's happy but we do have to like approach with caution and hope that this isn't just that she's pretending to be happy now and that we're going to see her struggle later hopefully that's not the case and it's just that she genuinely feels in a better place than she was you know like maybe yeah. it was like a weight lifted off her shoulders and that is a good feeling so hopefully this isn't gonna fly away soon and that this is like a genuine she knows in her gut that this was right right Ho I, hopefully exactly and then austin harwood also said i'm glad she has matthew he's been a great friend and support system for her through everything so yes so good that she's surrounded by friends um Gamalex nava commented man i wish she never got engaged to him in the first place would have saved her from all this drama and that is that's true for sure but you know what look at the positive she's coming out she like dropped new music she's doing more True. things you know like sometimes you need to experience something bad so that it pushes you to thrive and as much as it yeah. sucks that she had to go through that i agree in the perfect world she would have never been in this whirlwind romance none of this would have happened but it's not the perfect world it's 2020 and stuff happens so oh, yeah let's hope that this really did just push her to be a better Demi than ever. Yeah, I could not have said that any better. You're right. And you know what? <laughs> Relationships, whether they're good or bad, you, it's always a learning experience. So right, right. Hopefully this was, you know, a learning experience for her. Um, she knows what not to look for moving forward. <laughs> so there you go. Let's move right along to the number four Holly Scoop video of the week. We got we got a lot of Scott Sophia Courtney news actually coming up. So guys, don't go anywhere. But this first little update, Scott has apparently moved on. He is reunited with an ex fling with this model, Bella Banos. Um, you know, Scott was most recently spotted leaving Nobu Malibu, of course, with Bella, um, like I said, who is not new to the picture. She was the infamous model that Scott was caught with in Costa Rica back in 2017. Little background there. Um, but a, a source 
revealed that, quote, Scott is not looking for anything serious right now. His love for Sophia ran really deep. And although that chapter is closed, it just ended. Um, the source also added that he's really trying to focus on himself and his health right now. So the question here is, how can Scott focus on his health and himself when he's hanging out with a model on what looks like a date? You know, so... Girl, 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 what? Yes, of course not. That is all just put this out for PR. Somebody, hey, I'm going to tell my people mm -hmm. to go say this to somebody. No, Scott, of course he's not serious about this model. He's been with her kind of since 2017 with that whole incident. And they've never officially dated. He's never said they're more than friends. So obviously it's nothing serious for him. Right. Right. And another question, one of our Tea Tribe members actually said, um, Terry Santa Cruz uh, asked, wait, why would Sophia still consider getting back with Scott? Great question. Hopefully she is not considering. Because that's, yeah, that okay. seems like a chapter that is closed. Uh, it, and it should be closed. And everything, like this whole thing of Scott going out with Bella, it's like, who's surprised? Nobody should be surprised. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is that. Yeah. It's just it's like Scott. annoying to see it. Yeah, it's just like annoying. But even though even though he's annoying in his actions, we know who Scott is. He's never hit it. He doesn't pretend. This is who he is. So nobody should be surprised about it. Yeah, that's very, very true. We'll keep you guys updated with all of that. Let's move right along to the number three Holly Scoop video of the week. Miss Selena, everyone's favorite. She's our favorite. We love her. We have a little update for you guys. She is ready to love again. Um, Selena obviously has had quite the year, Monsi. You know, she made Times' list of 100 most influential people. She started her own beauty line, collabed with Blackpink, and now it looks like she's finally ready to find love again, which is so exciting. Um, a source told Life and Style, quote, it has to be the right man. She refuses to settle for just anyone. And now that she's comfortable in her own skin, she would rather be alone than with the wrong person, which is so well said. Um, yeah. but, so Monty, I know, I know you asked the tea tribe who they think Selena may be texting or who, who she would be, uh, who would be the right guy for her. So let's see who they chose. We got Maria Oliveira um, commenting, I want her with Chris Evans or Michael B. Jordan. They have similar goals. They want a long-term relationship and a family and they like to help people. I liked that. I, both, both of those guys. Would all be great. for that. And like, I, I really think she really should try to maybe find somebody a little bit older than her. She needs a, a guy. She's a man. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's been through there a, a lot, lot of comments like that, too. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. she needs a man and not somebody either, like, a man in every way. And maybe not somebody famous, but somebody that's willing to let her fly and be Selena Gomez. Maybe has their own projects. But you're right. Like, similar goals is what she needs. Yeah. Just a man. A man. A man. That's what she needs. Uh, Monsi, I also want to bring up what Brenda uh, Samkill said. I don't know if you've heard this, but but Brenda said, I have an idea because once a cute guy called her on a cooking show, on, on her cooking show, excuse me. So obviously, uh, you know, Selena and Chef on HBO Max, which is incredible. If you guys have not seen it, definitely check it out. Um, but there was this rumor. She did get like a FaceTime call from a guy you could hear a voice and she's like hi like she got giddy she's like hi i gotta call you back okay bye and the rumors came out that it was dylan o'brien which that would be a great couple i love that what do you I think mean, i'm not against not against it but they're similar in age they so are. they are they are and i'm not saying that this guy can't provide but you know i just think she should date somebody a little bit older who has maybe gone through a couple of more experiences uh so that they mesh a little bit more i'm not against right. it i'm not against yeah. it but okay well we will see if any of that is revealed soon um but lastly on this video also best vids forever commented what we were all thinking let's all hope she gets the most faithful and trustworthy guy could not have said yeah. it better I because at the end yeah, of the day, that's what matters. Age, exactly. okay, looks, okay. Like, no, it's, they have to be good here. That's always what's important. Yeah. 
Yeah. So let's move right along. You guys, we're almost at number one. So be sure to like this video if you are enjoying your time with us. We got the number two video of the week. Justin's Fresh Ink. Uh, fans are convinced that, that this new tattoo is a Selena tribute. So Justin showed off a new tat in this Instagram post and fans are speculating that this rose neck tattoo, neck tattoo is for Selena. The Jelena slip shippers, excuse me. A lot of S's here. <laughs> a lot of S's. The you, Jelena you shippers you got it. swear. Do you hear this tongue twister? swear that in the rose you can see the letter S intertwined in the petals. Um, or it's just the shading and Jelena shippers are always trying to find something even if there is really nothing. <laughs> so we even reported on the new tattoo because he got it at the same time Haley got one. Um, basically, will Jelena fans ever stop trying to get these two back together? Let's start off with John Venkatesh's comment. Uh, he wrote, move on guys, let married people be married and single people be single. Nothing to see here, move on. I mean, I love I mean, that comment, it's so true. So, so true, but also, there are those that honestly truly believe that Selena and Justin belong together, and I'm gonna break it for this commenter that they're not gonna go away. Till till the day they die, people are gonna always believe that they belong together. Yeah. They were on and off for seven years. Like it's kind I, yeah. I kinda understand where they're coming from. So I get it. Oh. So I understand let them be, but uh, it's just some people, it's hard for them to accept that Justin really doesn't love Selena or and vice versa. You know, it's just right. a little difficult. Now this S thing ridiculous i don't think it's an s for selena i see the s but i but don't it's, think it's for selena right um speaking of this amy m had an interesting theory she said i don't think justin's new rose tattoo is related to selena Jelena sh shippers are reaching it's a rose if it's an s then maybe the tattoo artist is a Jelena shipper the rose tattoo is for Haley, for the last one less lonely girl which I thought was so cute. That's a good little theory. Hold on. If that's true, I love that. If I the know. tattoo artist is secretly uh, into Justin and Selena and snuck that S in, brava. That was... <laughs> oh my goodness. That's I know. awesome. I know. Kayla Duck also commented, how can you not see the S? Haha, it's straight up right there in the middle. To clarify, I do not ship them. They were toxic, but there is for sure an S there, LOL. So there were a lot of comments saying, I don't ship them, but I see an S. So I don't know, again, yeah. I personally agree with the first with the first comment, what John said, you know, let's just move on. Of course they have that history, but there's an S. I don't think it has to do with Selena. I really don't. But I'm gonna I'm gonna stay with Amy that comment that the tattoo artist knew what they were <laughs> doing. That's what I'm gonna believe. I'm gonna no, I believe that 100. percent That's what I believe. I love it. Thanks for the theory, Amy. Um, guys, we're almost there. But before we get to number one, be sure to check out the morning tea every weekday, 8:30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. They have everything from you missed it to new music updates to Car Jenner Tea Time and OMT, the hottest entertainment news of the day. And be sure to like, share this video, and subscribe to the Holly Scoop channel. Monsi, are you ready for the video coming in at number one? Yes, please tell me what video <laughs> made it to the top of the list. Like I said, stick around because we had another Sophia Scott, Courtney, whatever you want to call it, update. Um, Sophia unfollowed, officially unfollowed Scott and Courtney last weekend on all socials after these new dating rumors with Bella. I mean, th so this came out, th this came days after Scott was seen with her, with Bella at Nobu. Um, Scott and Sophia are coming off of a three year relationship and a short lived reconciliation over the summer, maybe. Uh, so, why? Why did Sophia decide to unfollow Scott and Courtney, you know, now at this moment? Did something trigger it? You know, does it have anything to do with Bella possibly being in the picture now? Um, Monty, let's see what the Tea Tribe had to say about all of this drama here. Um, RS wrote, Sophia is too classy for Scott. And hello, he is 37. Basically, Scott attracts young girls because he is too immature for older women. What do you have to say about that? 
I see no lies in that comment. <laughs> you know, it's a very accurate yeah. comment. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude, you're, you're 37. You're acting like you're, you know, 23. Uh, just like yeah. you wouldn't believe that Scott, if you described somebody to Scott without saying who they were, they would be like, oh no, it's just like a young guy who has an experienced life and da, da, da. And it's like, no, no, this guy's experienced plenty of life and he's <laughs> acting like that. <laughs> so true. Um, Tiana Saraceno, Sa Saraceno, hopefully I'm getting your name right, said during the live on Monday, Scott seems to be unsatisfied with his life and he fills the emptiness with different young girls. The mother of his children clearly isn't enough for him. Yeah, I mean, we know Scott know. Has, has gone through some tough times with, you know, rehab issues and things like that, but... You know, they say that like money doesn't buy everything. So even though he can be satisfied with all his money and get all these other things, maybe it's right, you know? And there's always those people who say it's because he still loves Courtney so much. So may maybe he is really unfulfilled because he'll never be able to refill that void if it is yeah. Courtney because of everything he's done, you know? It'll never be right. the same. Uh, but clearly, right. I like that they said that he, is, he is missing something. And that's maybe why he keeps grabbing at stuff. And it's not great, right. but this is the way he copes with it. This is the way it, it's true. Yeah. So we'll see yeah. what happens with all of this and obviously keep you guys updated on all of this drama. But we want to know what your reaction to these moments of the week are. Uh, tell us, you know, do you guys agree with the viewers, with us? Give us a thumbs up if you did and keep those opinions coming, you guys. You know, watch and comment on the Morning Tea and Celeb News Bites. And who knows, your comments may be featured in next week's show. Share this video, subscribe to the Holly Scoop channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and we will see you guys later. Thanks, Monsi. Happy weekend. Thanks, Gabby. That was awesome. Yes, have a great rest of the day. You too.